Yes, I, I, I miss him a lot, that is the truth. As come down to 4 a.m. and he's sleeping, like I see my son. A postmortem has shown that the 8-year-old St. Margaret's Primary School pupil Joshua Hubbard died from a fractured neck, spine and internal hemorrhaging. His distraught mother, Roxanne Hubbard, continues to grieve for her son as she reminisces on the time the two spent together. Just keep tossing, keep tossing, if I say. And I, I start crying. I saw this is not nice. And things so if I was taking out anything, holding like a baby now. And thing and we start praying for him and so I had the lemon call my hand, I rubbed the lemon call in his face, say, Oh mommy, it's burning me, it's burning mommy. If I said no, I left you don't do it no more. After now we I always see and he fighting his father, he fighting his father, fighting. He turned his face and I start to roll up. And I turned and said, Orin, oh, this is not my son. She said as the days go by, she's now coming to grips that she has lost her baby. Today, the family visited the St. Margaret's Primary School, where according to the dead boy's sister, there was a confrontation. So they called the parents of the children, and the headmistress was talking a host of different things than when the, the parents came. She was saying that she's not sure if the incident happened at the school, and she's not sure that the child pushed him down and so forth. Now, as the family prepares for the funeral, they have reported the incident to the police and an investigation has been launched into the matter. Oh, for the station, because when they say when they're at the school this morning, the admission she don't want to tell no, she doesn't know she acts like he's not this boy. And a child told and said, This is the same boy, push Joshua down. I mean, you know, if Joshua was a fighter or so, I would say he's disgusting, but he's, he's, not, he's not a fighter. Who you describe him? My son. Loving and not rude. Joshua Hubbard was pronounced dead in the early hours of Friday morning while he was admitted to the Georgian Public Hospital. This after it is reported that he was pushed down a flight of stairs by another pupil. Leroy Adolphus, Capital News.